Christian Clavel from Canadian First Aid Training joining us now with his beautiful brand new daughter, two and a half month old Cadence, to talk about something so important for parents with infants, choking. Absolutely, choking. Um, probably a parent's uh, biggest fear. Uh, yeah. I, the main question is what do you do? Um, I guess the first thing is don't panic. Uh, the second thing would be to, uh, to do what needs to be done. I mean, at the end of the day, what are they choking on? Maybe it's mucus, it could be saliva, it could be maybe something they put in their mouth. It's a matter of uh, supporting the head, uh, tilting the baby forward, making sure you have full support, and then doing uh, five hits to the back to get the piece of food out. Well, it can be something that simple as milk mm -hmm. or saliva or something yeah. that you don't even think about. Yeah, exactly. And I think it just comes down to, like, what do you see? Is the baby panicking? Maybe uh, the eyes are bulging. Uh, you just fed the baby. All of a sudden, they're looking at you, and they're not doing the, the typical you know, I'm crying or I need to be burped type of signs. And uh, parents know their babies, so it's a matter of uh, doing something that needs to be done. So well, it can be very scary. And we were saying that babies can't tell you. They can't reach for their throat. Exactly, they yeah. They're, they're not going to do something like this when they're choking. They're going to be indicating through the, the gestures and the, and the, and the spasm of the, of the arms that uh, something's uh, very serious and needs to be uh, dealt with right now. And that's when you need to step up and stay calm. Exactly, yeah. So I guess we could probably do a demonstration okay. and see uh, how, uh, how this works out. So um, ultimately it's about supporting the head. So if you want to grab the mannequin there, and it's a matter of just kind of doing some kind of seat clamp around the, the baby's head like this. You're going to tuck the baby underneath your arm, something like this. And that's why I'm on my knees. It allows me to actually support the baby. From here, it's a matter of doing five hits to the back. One, two, three, four, five. So obviously I'm not doing the real thing. Right but that's what you would have to start with. Um, if, if after doing five hits to the back that doesn't work and some people say can I just keep going absolutely but the other option is is one two three four five then turning the baby onto your thighs like this and supporting the baby and doing five compressions and again that's putting pressure on the lungs to get the piece of food out to force them to do the, their own work although if they are coughing you should probably continue allowing them to cough but if they're not coughing you have to do the five hits of the back five chest compressions because coughing means that it's that they're breaking getting up, it out getting exactly somewhere. yeah exactly now how much pressure do you want to use because it's a newborn baby so you want to be careful but yeah. then you're also panicking yeah so. they're, they're very flexible and pliable I think when it comes down to it is uh, um, you, you, they need it I mean you, they, they need the piece of food to come out so you need to hit with the intent to dislodge. That's what it says in the book. That's what we need to be doing. And at that moment, it's just about getting them yeah, to breathe. Get absolutely. Them to get yeah. If they start crying, that's the best thing you'll ever hear. Um, I guess the last thing is if they actually become unconscious, they become relaxed in your arms. The biggest thing people ask is when do I call 911? Yeah. And, and that, <laughs> what's the answer? the quicker you call them the quicker they show up the less you have to do. So that would be uh, needed. Uh, the, the most important thing here would be to if the baby does become unconscious, that you put them on a firm, flat surface, and you'd have to do five compressions. Uh, again, why are you doing that? Because there's something in the airway, by compressing on their lungs, you're gonna try to force them to get that piece of food out, but they are unconscious, right? Wow, well it is yeah. an absolutely terrifying situation that all you can do is be prepared the best you can for, and you guys offer lots of great courses. Yeah, we, we do uh, babysitting courses, uh, courses for parents, uh, newborn, or new parents, uh, parents that have had uh, several kids, or, um, and workplaces, yeah. Excellent. We have all the information up for the courses that you can take through Canadian First Aid Training on breakfasttelevision.ca. Thank you so much, Cadence, for your TV debut. Such a pretty little girl. Yeah. We're taking a quick break here on BT. Stay with us.